guys, what's going on? Welcome back to yet another reaction. Super stoked that you're here. And this week, we're gonna be checking out fantastic beasts and where to find them, because ordinary beasts wouldn't be good enough. Which is <laughs> the series that allowed Warner Brothers just to fucking squeeze the last little drops of revenue out of the Harry Potter franchise, as if $9.5 billion was not enough. We gotta keep it going. <laughs> I don't know, I've heard so many mixed things about this series. I've heard the Fantastic Beast movies were, in fact, glorious. Bet you didn't see that word coming. I also heard that these movies are ass trash. Who knows, maybe we'll watch all of these movies, maybe we'll just watch this movie as a one-off. If it's fantastic, that's beautiful. And if it sucks shit, then this is gonna be a fun video because that means we're gonna roast the movie the entire time. I don't know shit about this movie, I don't even know if it's connected to Harry Potter, but I wore my Dobby shirt just in case. Uh, if you're new here, I do weird sexual things with my hands. That sounded really bad. God bless. Okay, I'm off to a rough start. Aw, uh, dude! The nostalgia of this music is so real. You better not be fucking with me because I'm fairly positive this has absolutely nothing to do with Harry Potter, which is a uh, quick way for y'all to fuck with my emotions. Grindelwald strikes again. Grindelwald attacks. Okay, chick, that hat fucking sucks. First of all, let's talk about that. Where's Grindelwald? Who is Grindelwald? Where's Grindelwald? What the fuck is Grindelwald? This kind of reminds me of Titanic. God, I haven't seen that movie in so long. You just see Jack and Rose drowning in the back? <laughs> Dougal? Dougal? Settle down now, please. Won't be long. <laughs> Shan't be long, Dougal. Shan't be long. It's probably very dangerous to already have Harry Potter level expectations for this, and I probably should not compare this to Harry Potter whatsoever. But if Dougal's not as fucking badass as Hedwig or as cute as Dobby, I'm gonna be very pissed. Anything edible in there? No. Life sucks. <laughs> well. Let's get that fixed. No. <laughs> it would help if you didn't look guilty as hell. Who's gonna turn into a stuffed animal? Oh. Welcome to New York. Thank you. <laughs> like a ghost. I saw its eyes, shining white eyes. Are you sure you weren't drinking heavily? A dark wind. It's like a dark mass. Okay, maybe dude wasn't drinking. Well, there's the hell beast. <laughs> he goes, fantastic. Oh, damn, so you're gonna be with us. Damn, Where that is Frank is mustard heavy, dude. I don't like mustard like that. I'm so, I, I, I despise mustard, actually. Fight. Excuse me, doll, just <laughs> turning into the bank. <laughs> Let this girl eat her wiener, man. Let her eat it. You. Friend. Oh, it's don't friend me, woman. And you're the freaky hat woman from the paper? Are you a seeker? A seeker after truth? No, lie to me. What a stupid fucking question that. At last if you dare, oh. witches live among us. We have to fight together. Chick's got mustard on her lip. The hell? What the hell is that? Can I help you, sir? No, I was, I was just, just waiting. <laughs> okay, you kind of look like a drug addict, kid. Hi. Hi. What brings you here? Same as you. You here to get a loan to open up a bakery? Yes. What are the odds of that? <laughs> well, you're the best man to win, I guess. What is that little platypus? Oh. Hey, mister. Wait, what the? My dude just hatched an egg. Okay, okay you, you do not pocket another man's ass egg. <sighs> Your mustache is way too thin. Dude, you are way too close to her. Have you, look at him. Wait, where are you putting those coins? Little wombat? All right, it's my grandmother's recipe. Mr. Kowalski, what do you propose to offer the bank as collateral? Hey, don't be a dickhead. He just offered you a baked good. It's his grandmother's recipe. Collateral? Uh, I, I have an assortment of pastries. The bank must be protected, Mr. Kowalski. Good day to you. You're a fuckhole. 
<laughs> What's his name? Dougal? I think it's Dougal. He's so cute. Hey! Again, I'm gonna question this large man. I think your egg is hatching. You don't pocket another man's egg. Oh. Oh shit, that's not another wombat looking thing. Is that a dragon? Wait, that thing looks like Kevin from Up. Oh my god, he's gonna oh, think y'all are robbing so the place. Steal the money, huh? <laughs> no, asshole, we're not stealing the money. We're getting our small wombat the hell out of here. He's stealing the money. Really? <laughs> Ew, why is your front pouch so large? Oh shit, Dougal. Dude, just take Dougal's ass out of here. Y'all are rich. No, don't shoot. Don't shoot. What the hell was that? This other hat woman is onto them. You have seen it far too much. Oh, shit, yeah. oh! Sorry. Wait, Largeman just thiefed his briefcase. He started the morning wanting to open a. Oh, wait. No, he didn't take the briefcase. I thought the large man started off the morning wanting to open a bakery and then he turned to thievery. Who are you? So you've got something on your. Yeah, he's mustard. You could not have chosen a worse time to let that creature loose. I'm taking you in. What? Taking me away. He didn't choose to let the wombat loose. At least tell me you took care of the nomad. The what? The nomad. Thin mustache? No magic. The non wizard. Sorry, we call them muggles. You wiped his memory, right? No magic. I like muggle way better. I'm taking you in. Okay. Why the hell is this kid letting this hatted woman take him in? If you can just disappear, just do that. <gasps> House elves! Oh god, it looks like crack dobby. Hey, Goldstein. Hey, Red. Red? This place is filled with crack dobbies. I thought you was. Major investigation department. I got a section 3A. Something tells me this chick isn't who she says she is. They think this is related to Grindelwald's attacks in Europe. It's terrorizing nomadges. And when nomadges are afraid, they attack. It could mean war. War between the non-magic folks and the magic folks? Be a quick fucking war, wouldn't it? It made your position here quite clear, Miss Goldstein. But you're I... no longer an aura. See? She's lying! She's trying to get her job and wipe that mustard off your lip! Where is she? Goldstein, did you just butt in on the investigative team again? <laughs> Where have you been? What? She's been slamming glizzies getting mustard on her lip. Afternoon, Mr. Graves, sir. Mr. Graves, sir? He has a crazy creature in that case and it got out. Who the hell is that actor, dude? Let's see the little guy. Oh, Colin Farrell, that's right, that's his name. <gasps> oh, fuck, he switched suitcases with the baker. Well, this guy's in for it. <laughs> He's wielding a money-hungry wombat. And isn't it kind of a weird move to have pastries in a suitcase anyway? <laughs> Is he gonna make some cute ass sound when it opens? Oh, what the fuck? Wait, that's not Dougal? What the fuck is that? Oh! It's one of them little hamster squids, dude. My mommy, your mama flying on a switch. My mommy, your mommy, she's a fat bitch. What? Which number three? Gonna watch her burn. Which? That is a dark game of hopscotch. Collect your leaflets before you get food, children. My God, that one individual girl's got a huge forehead. Holy shit. Uh. Wait, all that destruction came from his creatures or that weird black cloud with white-eyed creature? It was open? Just a smidge. <laughs> that crazy Niffler thing's on the loose again? Might be. God damn it, Dougal, where the hell did you go? Ew. Hello. You can't obliviate him? He'll be fine, Mert lap bites aren't serious. <laughs> I admit that is a slightly more severe reaction than I've seen. <laughs> but if it was really serious, he'd have... He'd have what? Well, the first symptom would be flames out of his anus. And he oh, doesn't seem to... Balled up. Uh, the first symptom is ass fire? <laughs> You're both coming with me. Help me. Oh, I'm dreaming, right? <laughs> My papa's got <laughs> ass fire right now. You cool me off? No. <gasps> oh my god, you cute devious little bastard. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, that's familiar. Where the hell's Harry? Oh, what the fuck? 
Guys, this is getting me so excited. About one year after the last Harry Potter video that I released on YouTube, I'm gonna do a re-watching Harry Potter marathon where I watch all the movies in one video. It's gonna be so fun, but it's gonna be a nightmare to edit. But this movie's getting me super psyched for that. I'm so sorry, Mr. Shaw, but Father, you're so insistent. you're gonna wanna hear this. This is Mary Lou Barebone from the New Salem Preservation Society. And she's got a big story for you. The strange things going on all over the city. This is witchcraft, don't you see? Just look at the evidence. Listen to Father and just go. Take the freaks with you. This is Father's office, Take not yours. Take the freaks with you. I mean, the kid's haircut sucks shit short, but he's not a freak. Langdon should have brought that athletic stick in this room and threatened to beat his dad to death if he didn't print the story. We hope you'll read Consider Mr. Shaw. We're not difficult to find. We thank you for your time. Okay, maybe they are freaks. Frightening ass bunch. Hey boy, you dropped something. Why don't you put that in the trash where you all belong? What the fuck? That was so uncalled for. What a fucking douchebag. You can really tell something about someone by the way they treat people. You should be treating the CEO of a company the same as a fucking trash man. Calling people freaks like you pay rent here. Fuck you, dude. Hey, you Yes, Mrs. Esposito. Are you alone? Well, I'm with one magic kid and one guy with ass fuego. <laughs> what? It's a weird sentence. You brought men home. Oh. This is my sister. Hey, Chance. You want me to suck you guys dry? Well, y yeah. <laughs> oh, this chick's a freak. So? Is your hog circumcised? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. He hasn't eaten anything all day. You want me to give you something to eat? <laughs> you know how to read minds. Oh, don't worry, honey. Most guys think what you was thinking first time they see me. Now you need food. I know you wanted to eat my scone, but <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have to say things, and these are the things that are in my brain. I am so glad there are not people around that can read my mind. Hey, Mr. Scamander, you prefer pie or strudel? You prefer strudel, huh, honey? <laughs> strudel it is. This girl is flirty as hell. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Imagine what she could do to in bed. I'm not gonna poison you. <gasps> oh, it's a little fucking green bean monster, dude. Have you any news? I'm still looking. But why are y'all meeting in the dark? My vision showed only the child's immense power. He or she is no older than 10. You're the one who gains this child's trust. You want to join the wizarding world, so find the child and we'll all be free. This meal, it's insanely good. The greatest meal I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you slay me. I ain't never really talked to a nomad before. Really? Are y'all gonna start fucking on the table or, or what? I am not flirting. You're not flirting? <laughs> That's flirting. Okay, you guys can bunk in here. <laughs> Something tells me her sister wants old croissant head to sleep in her bed. Thought you might like a hot drink. Are you trying to just blast this, every orifice of this large man with heat? Out his asshole will be coming fire. Inside his gullet will be hot tea. Why are y'all laying in bed in formal wear? <gasps> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> At that point, you question your sanity and you wonder whether you're under the influence of copious amounts of drugs. 100%. Lay off the schmoogles or whatever the hell your pastry was called. What's you got there? Swooping evil. I've been studying him. His venom could be quite useful if properly diluted. <laughs> the fuck? Come on. All right, so far, my impression of this movie is that it's intriguing. It's got some sexual play in it, which is nice. But the story, whoa, oh, fuck. But like, I, I don't know where they're going with the story. I don't know what the hell's happening. So he's the real reason I came to America. He's so cute. To bring Frank home. He was trafficked, you see. That is a big ass bird. I'm gonna put you back where you belong, aren't I, Frank? Wow, dude, it's so cool. 
He just wants to protect the animals. It's like fucking Harry Potter and Steve Irwin had a baby and this is him. His name's Newt. Oh, is that a fucking roach in the background? My three most irrational fears ever in life, throwing up roaches and spiders. Oh, hello. What the fuck? Dude looks like if Jar Jar took anabolic steroids. If I hadn't managed to rescue them, it could have been the end of rat horns forever. Wait, so he can just go live in his suitcase in this underworld type of vibe with the- Oh, it's a baby! Let me take a look at it. I know these guys. What the hell? They're little snake birds. I would absolutely just be living in my suitcase if I were this kid. This is the coolest little magical animal world ever. <laughs> They all seem so nice. Stop. No, don't. Pay. Okay. Um, they to defend themselves early. Yeah. Right. I don't think I'm dreaming. I'll give it away. I ain't got the brains to make this up. <laughs> I'm kind of just dumb as a hickory stump. Can never come up with this type of stuff. Damn. Dude, they're like little llamas. They're so cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh shit, the black smoke. Okay, that is demonic and terrifying. Step back. Draws you into the darkness. What the hell is this thing? It's an obscurus. I need to get going. So where would you say that a medium-sized creature likes broad open plains, trees, the water holes, that sort of thing? Where, where might she go? Well, uh, Central Park. And where is that exactly? Where is Central Park? Motherfucker, he's not from New York. Don't you think it's kind of a double cross? The girls take us in. You do realize that once they see that you stop sweating, they will obliviate you in a heartbeat. Yeah, and you're just trying to get your dick wet, dude. What's obliviate me? Oh, it'd be like you wake up and all memory of magic gone. Stop trying to get sucked off and go to Central Park. All right, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll help you. Nice! Credence, where have you been? I'm sorry, Ma. I didn't realize it was so late. This lady freaks me out. I think it's just the general shape of her hair. An attribute that you can tell if someone has that. It's like, freaky woman. Why did you decide to be a baker? Because I'm dying in that canning factory. Oh. Everyone there's dying, it just oh, crushes dude. the life out of you. I thought he was literally gonna say, I started a bakery because I'm dying. I was like, holy shit. There he is, dude. <laughs> shit. Holding a bunch of gold. <laughs> Dude, y'all are fucking up the whole shop. <laughs> They're just both staring. Why does he steal everything shiny? Oh, dude, I just want to pet him. He's so cute. One down, two to go. Of course, now it looks like y'all are robbing the place. Hands up! Fine. Oh. Wait, why is there just a normal lion? I thought there were just a bunch of magical creatures in his suitcase. <laughs> Goddamn ostrich! I love how they run! I made him cocoa. <laughs> well, you didn't lick his leprechaun, and that's what he was waiting for. So well done. Tell me, has anyone ever believed you? You told him not to worry. Well, my philosophy is that worrying means he suffered twice. <laughs> that's actually really intelligent, <laughs> like very eloquently put. She needs to mate. Wait, she needs to mate? Now we're just gonna watch animals fuck each other? <laughs> what the hell was that? That's how I court my wife as well. <laughs> what am I watching? What the hell? This is like a mix between Harry Potter and Jumanji. Same thing. Nuke! Well, the bulging rhinoceros just fucked the tree. Sentence I never thought I'd say during this video. <laughs> just licked his face. Good show, Mr. Kowalski. <laughs> Call me Jacob. 
Jacob. Nice. So it's only an hour into the movie and we're just learning the names of the characters in it. Newt and Jacob. And you got old Mustard Mouth sitting here spying. I swear to God, if you don't redeem yourself and graduate from Mustard Mouth to something cooler by the end of this reaction, I'm gonna be really pissed. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the senator for New York, Henry Shaw! Oh yes, a bunch of pompous rich people clapping their hands at some political event. Yes, yes. These private parlors. What is it, the black gas? It's the devil gas. It's the devil gas with the white eyes! Yeah, now your son's dead, old timer. Bet you wished you listened to those folks about the magic now. You'll insure drinking depends wearing bitch. That was, that was harsh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but still, fuck you. Oh, sweet God. That guy is deformed. Madam President, I'm sorry to interrupt, but this is critical. <laughs> well, it better be, because you're interrupting some big ass meeting with some weird bioluminescent things going on above. Yesterday, a wizard entered New York with a case, this case, full of magical creatures, and some have escaped. You've known for 24 hours that an unregistered wizard set magical beasts loose in New York, and you see fit to tell us only when a man has been killed? Probably because every single thing she tells you, you chastise her like a fucking bitch. Where is this man? They're meeting with an upside down pentagram right here, dude. What kind of weird shit are y'all on? It's gonna be the baked goods. She's gonna open it up, it's gonna be scones. Oh, okay. No, right bag. Who is this? Jacob Kowalski, Madam President, he's a nomad who got bitten by one of Mr. Scamander's creatures. Obliviate him. Obliviate him. Blaster-size him. Skin him alive. Tar and feather him. Y'all really need to chill out. It's extremely unsettling. What kind of creature did this? I was an obscurus. There is no obscurial in America. Shut up, woman. Impound that case, Grace. Please, you don't understand. Nothing in there is dangerous. Nothing. We'll be the judges of that. Take me to the cells. I don't like this chick's energy, dude. And her sideburns are trash. I'm so sorry about your creatures, Mr. Scamander. I truly am. Oh my ass, Mustard. The first chance you got to throw him under the bus, you took it. You haven't graduated yet. You're still Mustard. Someone please tell me what this obscurious thing is, please. When we were still being hunted by muggles, young wizards and witches sometimes tried to suppress their magic to avoid persecution. They developed what was called an obscurus. Wow. It's an unstable, uncontrollable dark force that busts out and attacks. <coughs> That's terrifying. There's no documented case of an obscurial surviving past the age of 10. 10 years? Senator Shaw was killed by a, a kid? Oh, the kid with immense power that they were talking about at the beginning. Oh, these little oh, witch kids. Mama, witches never fly. Oh. Freaky as hell, dude. Any little girl that wears a muted gray, creepy ass flower apparel that's like a dress to the floor? I'll know if you dump them. Tell me if you see anything suspicious. You, bitch. This is. No, no, I don't like any of these. I got a weird thing about little girls. You what? Oh God, that sounds so bad. Little girls freak me out is what I'm trying to say. He was thrown out of Hogwarts for endangering human life. That was an accident. He was thrown out of Hogwarts? What makes Albus Dumbledore so fond of you? Because Dumbledore sees the best in people and this guy is just a conservationist that loves weird animals. So setting a pack of dangerous creatures loose here was just another accident. Why would I do it deliberately? To provoke war between the magical and the magical <laughs> worlds. <laughs> My guy's out here trying to save the animals, and everybody thinks he wants to commit mass genocide against his own kind. I'm not one of Grindelwald's fanatics, Mr. Graves. I wonder what you can tell me about this. I managed to separate it from the Sudanese girl as I tried to save her. Yeah, that doesn't look good. You were therefore guilty of a treasonous betrayal of your <laughs> fellow wizards and a sentence to death. Oh, poor kid. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Sentencing mustard to death? Fuck it. Horny sister knows. Horny sister's gonna save the day. Please. It don't hurt. I don't like the weird, almost smile on Blanchick's face. Come on, I'm get time for Don't that look good? No. What? Don't that look good? 
It's death. You want to get in? Go on, jump in, see your mama. You're a freak woman. Hey, Sam. Hey, Queenie. Does Cecily know you've been seeing Ruby? How did Let you? Let me obliviate this guy and she'll never hear about it from me. <laughs> I like this chick. She's such a badass. Wait, you're not going to obliviate me? Of course not. You're one of us now. She's not going to obliviate you, but she's going to fellatiate you. Sorry. Little praying mantis stick bug's going to help out. Let's get the good stuff out of you. Ew. Don't say that. Don't panic. What do you suggest I do instead? Jump. Are you crazy? <laughs> What's the other option? Just go, just jump. Oh, there you go. Come on. Sick! <laughs> eat his brain, come on. Oh, he's gonna what? eat his fucking brain? Dark film. Get in. That's so smart. Wait, where are you going? I'm sick, Mr. Abernathy. Again? <laughs> what you got there? Ladies things. Hey. You want to take a look? I don't mind. Oh, good gravy. No. <laughs> oh, goodness, no. Ladies things makes it sound like menstruation devices, and I I can't handle that. You get well now. You idiot. It's all women have to say. Lady problems. Guys are like, okay, don't want to know. Credence, have you found the child? The sooner we find this child, the sooner you can put that pain in the past where it belongs. What the hell? I want you to have this, Credence. I would trust very few with it, but you... You're different. He's different in the fact that he looks like a salamander. When you find the child, it touches a symbol and I will know and I will come to you. Time is running out. Shit. Your grandfather kept pigeons? Mine bred owls. I used to love feeding them. Graves always insisted. Dude, they're just super attracted to each other. I actually really like that. We need to catch all your creatures so he can't keep using them as a scapegoat. There's only one still missing. Dougal? <laughs> the problem is that, um... He's invisible. Dougal's invisible? How do you catch something? With immense difficulty. <gasps> Narlac. Oh, shit. I thought she was going to kiss him. He was an informant of mine when I was an Auror. He wouldn't have, have an interest in poor Prince, would he? He's interested in anything he can sell. <sighs> Greedy fuck. <laughs> oh. It's like a sex dobby. What is this? It's a little wizard speakeasy. What, ain't you ever seen a house elf before? It's a crack dobby! Who won the matches like you? No. I'm the only one like me. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? My God! In that death potion back there, I saw you hugging that second Salem boy. His name's Credence. His mother beats him. Nice. She beats all those kids she's adopted, but she seems to hate him the most. I knew that freak bitch woman was bad news. Anybody whose hair is shaped like that is bad news and probably beats their children. Oh my god, it's mob boss, Dobby. You're the guy with the case full of monsters, huh? I was hoping you'd have to tell me if- I love when people do that after they take a drink, because I don't drink, so I don't get to do that, but they're like... Why should I help you instead of turning you in? Moonscope? I got five. Bring the blonde chick over here, have her suck him off! That's a boat truckle, right? No, don't take his little leaf stick. They pick locks, am I right? You're not having him. Good luck getting back alive. Oh my Mr. gosh. Scavenger. All right. Pick it. Oh, that's so sad. He doesn't want to leave. Oh, this cute little green bean looking at himself. You may want to check out Macy's department store. One last thing. You ask a lot of questions that can get you killed. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Makusa coming. <laughs> What a douchebag! Hey, give me my green bean back! Sorry, Mr. Mar Asshole! Yeah! B <laughs> Let's go! Oh, oh. <laughs> knocking one! Oh my god! Knocking one more bag! <laughs> okay, that's super weird. What you doing, Creed? Where'd you get this? 
Give it back, Credence. Well, here comes the beating. How about you take your belt off and you beat this woman? Mom, I am not your mom. Your mother was a wicked, unnatural woman. It was mine. Oh, she's so sweet. Modest. Oh, but she's the wide-eyed, black-dusted devil cloud. Well, might as well kill this bob haircut, bitch. <laughs> nice. All right, murder. Yeah, and that woman deserved it. Okay, we're not out here just watching movies hoping to see innocent people get murdered because that'd be fucked up. But people that beat their children, yes, should be murdered. And spanking is not beating your kids. Coming from someone who has no kids. And try very hard not to be predictable. Very nice. <laughs> no. I think it he be is be hideously nice. cute. There's a fine line between disgustingly hideous beast and adorable creature. Very fine line. That thing toes that line perfectly. Its sight operates on probability, so it can foresee the most likely immediate future. Just go up to him, pull your pants down, helicopter around a little bit, and bag him. What did you just say? I said pull your pants down, helicopter a bit, and pull him back out and grab him! It's one of them snake birds. We need an insect and a teapot. Do not grab the roach, woman! I mean, I get y'all need an insect, but damn! Teapot! Roach in teapot. Uh, that really bums me out to watch that. I have a lot of roach horror stories. When I was younger, I put my pajama pants on and I was walking through the house getting some ice cream and on my thigh, I felt a tickle. I pulled my uh, my pajama pants down. On my thigh, a roach this fucking big. I fucking... <laughs> I screwed. Oh my god. It was. I don't even want to think about it anymore. It was horrific. Was that everything that came out of the case? That's everything. All right, good. Now we got to deal with the black clouded dust girl. What are you two talking about? School. Is there a school? A wizardry school in America? <laughs> Glad you asked. Hogwash. 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 Not a hogwash, woman. <laughs> oh, hogwash? Yeah, I had a cousin that went there. Danger. He senses his danger. Yeah, of course, it's Colin Farrell. He's the danger. Although, at the beginning of the movie, they're talking about Griswold and shit. Like, we haven't even seen that person. I'm adopted Modesty out of here. Where is she? I don't know. You're a squib, Credence. You have magical ancestry, but no power. But you said you could teach me. You're unteachable. Your mother's dead. That's your reward. <laughs> What the fuck? What kind of thing is that to say to someone? Yeah, I thought you were gonna teach me magic. No, you're an unteachable asshole and your mom's dead. There's your reward. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? He does have power. He's got- you an apology. Yeah, you do. He's got power. But you were my friend. No, he was never your friend. But you were different. He was not different. You can control it. Oh, dude, that look is want to. terrifying. Yeah, let's kill Colin Farrell. I'm, I'm on board. Oh, the white eyes. Oh, shit. Credence was the devil dust. Whoa. That's more powerful than any Obscura I've ever heard of. That's kind of, like, really sad and tragic, though, is that the Obscura is causing so much harm to everything around him, probably because he was extremely hurt, beaten as a child. No, 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 no. Please let go of me, Jacob. Hey, hey, you're the one that said I was one of you. She's gonna romance you up! Okay, maybe next scene. Newt, save him. How? How the hell is he supposed to do that? The most powerful devil dust cloud he's ever seen and you're supposed to go save him? Credence! It does suck for Newt, though, that he brings all these magical, mystical beasts into New York and then everybody thinks because he did that that he's responsible for what this dude does. That sucks. Those dumbass little guns, the little pop guns. Pew, pew! Pew, pew! Pew, pew! What is that gonna do against this thing? Nothing. I've met someone. Just like you, Credence. She had been locked away and she'd been punished for her magic. Can I come over? I actually really like the aspect though that Credence is able to turn into that dark dust. Oh my God, this dude. 
Why would you challenge Credence? It seems like you're not nearly as powerful as him. Don't do this. Keep talking, Tina. Keep talking to him. He'll listen to you. I know what that woman did to you. I know that you've suffered. It's really sad. He's just hurting on the inside. That's this whole thing about bullshit people doing bullshit in the world. The abused becomes the abuser. Hurt people hurt people. You know? It's really it's sad. Right. Of course. No price. What? You idiots! Wait, is that gonna destroy him? Wait, that's all they had to do to destroy him is just all get together, gang up, and wand him out? Do you realize what you've done? No. He has broken one of our most sacred laws. A law that demands that we conceal our true nature. Who does this law protect? I, I, is this guy good or bad? I can't make up my mind. Oh, damn. Okay, he's probably a bad guy. He's just murdering everybody. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go ahead and land on the fact that he's bad. Only took us the whole movie to figure it out, but whatever. Oh, we saw blonde hair like that at the beginning. What the fuck? Johnny Depp? Do you think you can hold me? What? We'll do our best, Mr. Grindelwald. Oh! 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 Johnny Depp is Grindelwald? What kind of movie only has Johnny Depp in it for seven seconds? But the magical community is exposed. We cannot obliviate an entire city. Actually, I think we can. <gasps> oh! Golden ass hawk, dude! Or uh, is that an owl? It's an owl? My knowledge about birds of prey is not the best. Seems like now you're our only hope, Frick. Frick, dude, give him a scratch! Yeah! Give Frick a scratch! I swear, dude, as I get older, I give less and less a fuck about people and just care about animals now. I'm just gonna make a fortune in life, then I'm gonna <laughs> donate it to dogs. I don't know. Maybe I'll donate it to giant golden birds. You know what you got to do. How is that thing gonna wipe the mind of everybody in the city? It's just gonna rain the potion down on everybody? What happens if people are inside, hermited away, making YouTube videos, watching movies and saying gooch, and they're not getting rained on? You have a great debt, Mr. Scamander. Yeah, you do, sideburns. You were talking a lot of shit. Is that no match still here? Obliviate him. He'll let you say goodbye. Well, there goes all the romance in the movie. It's really sad, though. I don't want him to get obliterated. This is for the best. Wait, can't y'all just meet again? I was never supposed to know any of this. Everybody knows Nude only kept me around because... Why did you keep me around? Because I like you. Because you're my friend. Aww. My dude found someone who was w wanting to suck his Willis. He found a great friend and he found a wonderful world of mystical creatures and now he's gotta just wipe his memory. I gotta go. Wait, something tells me he's gotta- He doesn't have a wife and kids, does- Nah, he doesn't. Nah, he doesn't. That would ruin everything. Oh shit, what is she gonna do? She umbrellaed him out! Kiss him! Yeah! Okay, d you, dude, you can unpucker your lips. Or not. <laughs> He's like... I just have a wet dream out here? What the hell is happening? What does he think happened? Tell me my man opens up a bakery! Oh, sorry. sorry. Dear Mr. Kowalski, you are wasted in a canning factory. Please take these Okami eggshells as collateral for your bakery. <gasps> a well-wisher. Yo, that's sick! Go get your bake on, dude! Scone it up! It's been, um... Hasn't it? Are y'all gonna kiss too? Listen, no, uh... Maybe it's one-sided. I wanted to thank you. How are you gonna thank him? Back to the ministry, deliver my manuscript. Fantastic beasts and where to find them. <laughs> they said the title of the movie, wrap it up! Oh, I'll send you a copy of my book if I may. I think she'd also like something else. Do it. Do it. Do it. Seriously, dude. Go back and give the girl a kiss. Go back. What a pussy, dude. Jet back, zip back and... No? All right.
Well, if I had written the movie, I, he would have zipped back right there, given her a kiss, smacked her ass, and said, I'm headed to Goochland. Would have probably ruined the film or made it way better. High risk, high reward, I guess. Kowalski Bakery, dude. He's got trucks and shit out here. Dude, he's got a line. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Ah, oh, that is awesome. Where'd you get your ideas from, Mr. Kowalski? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're like me, they just come. You want, what you doing tonight, mama? <laughs> what? I guess the smile means that he, he recognizes her? Something? I mean, that's not bad, dude. So what I've heard about this series is the first movie is pretty fucking good, which I which I agree. It was fun, it was entertaining. The acting was decent, but then I've heard that just the content collapses and shit goes haywire and the rest of the films are not worth watching. You guys let me know down below in the comments. I really am of the opinion though, that this was pretty fun. Certainly does not measure up to Harry Potter content. Not that it needed to. And I'm not gonna tell JK Rowling how to do her damn job, it's JK Rowling. But I would have made prequel films about Harry Potter's parents. And then like them getting pregnant and shit and having Harry and all, all the things. Like that would have been the most entertaining, engaging prequel movies that I could imagine. But if I had to guess, I'd say this is gonna be a fun one-off movie and I'll probably be the reaction channel that never finished the rest. But if you guys want me to finish the rest of them, we'll definitely check that out. I don't know, all I know, is, I, I don't know. That's, that's about it. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!